Hey kids, Mr. Lonzi here. I bet you didn't know I was part of the Secret Service, the Library Secret Service. Today we're gonna learn about how to take care of our library books. So I hope you enjoy this story. Never let a ghost borrow your library book. Book Care Guidelines from the Library Secret Service by Karen Casal. Illustrations by Cecilia Rabora. Property of the Library Secret Service. Didn't even know there was such a thing. Did you? When you borrow a book from the library, you probably know that you can't keep it forever. Other kids want to borrow that book too. So while you have it, you must take care of it. For the next kid. That's where the Library Secret Service, LSS, comes in. The LSS has issued very official guidelines, VOG, so that you know how to take care of your library book. Psst, turn the page. VOG number one. Let's start with pets. Do not let your pets eat library books. Example of pets include dogs, cats, turtles, hamsters, and inchworms. Basically, anything that eats and burps. Don't let your mom or dad munch on your books either, even if they beg you. VOG number two. Do not let a baby drool on your books, especially if he's just eaten strained peas. Do not let elves or ogres drool on them either. They have very smelly drool. VOG number three. Do not drink or eat anything, especially the librarian's lunch, while reading a library book. Also, never drink alien juice next to your book. Alien juice stains. Confirmed by the LSS laundry department. VOG number four. Never, and I mean never, let a ghost borrow your library book. Ghosts have a habit of disappearing. But pen, pencil, magic marker, and crayon marks do not disappear. Do not write in a book with anything. That's VOG number five. That goes for invisible ink too. VOG number six. Do not take your books out in the rain or put them in the bathtub. You should definitely take a bath, however. The sooner, the better. Rubber duck optional. If you don't know what optional means, ask your librarian to help you look it up in the reference section. VOG number seven. Also, do not leave your books out in the sun. They are sensitive to UV rays, just like you. And no, sunblock on books is not a good idea. VOG number eight. Do not dog ear, dog slurp, or dog slime your books. Use a bookmark. If you don't have one, use a slip of paper. VOG number nine. Do not use your library book as a tissue or napkin. Do not make mud cakes and then touch your book either. Please, we're begging you. Ew, yuck, gross. Disgusting! By the way, do you know what kind of book contains lists of words that all mean the same thing? Hint! That book is in the reference section. VOG number 10. Don't! Turn the pages too fast because then you'll hear a terrible ripping sound. Turn the pages slowly. Wake me up when you're done. VOG number 11. When you reach the last page, bring the book back to the library. Not the video store, not the toy store, and not Mars. And always return books on time. Every time, even if you don't know what time it is. Martians like to eat library books. Confirmed by LSS Special Ops. Pop quiz. Where is the best place to keep library books at home? A. The hamper with all your dirty, stinky socks. B, the doghouse, an alien's favorite hangout. C, the freezer, brrr. D, a bookcase, table, shelf, 
or somewhere else that's safe. Hope you picked D. That's VOG number 12. If you did, you're an honorary member of the LSS for the day. VOG number 13. Hug your books when you carry them so you don't drop them. Or hug them because you love them so much. Whatever the reason, hug them to keep them safe. But don't kiss your library books. Save kisses for your parents. VOG number 14. If you love a library book so much that you want to keep it longer, renew it. But remember, you still can't kiss it, even if you love it so much that you want to marry it. If you love the book that much, ask someone to buy it for you. Then you can smooch it all you want. Ask your mom, dad, Santa, grandma, the president, or your favorite movie star. Do not ask a vampire to buy a book for you. You don't want to be alone with a vampire. VOG number 15, finally, and most important, drum roll please, read the book. Read it to yourself, to your parents, to your sister, to your sister's smooshed up sandwich, to your stuffed animals, to space aliens, to ants, to your mom's coffee cup, to your brother's freckle, to anyone or anything. Well, maybe not a vampire. See VOG 14. Oh, we almost forgot. VOG number 16. Remember to say thank you to the librarian. Your librarian cares for all those great books in the library that you love. And all librarians are members of the LSS. And psst, they are glad that you love your books. Did we mention that you should read the books? We did, but it's worth repeating. Read the books.